Good afternoon today. This is the second clip of the nursing content for NCLEX IM with Joanna. Okay, today we're gonna go to the maternity department and we're gonna talk deeper about um, the legal post manuals. Let's see what is the meaning of Leopold manuals. Leopold manuals is the procedure that both of the nurse or the doctor would perform to the mother to determine which is the presentation of the fetus inside her. Because the presentation of the fetus will be one of the very important factors that would see if she gonna be in the emergency situation or not. The result of the, ma um, the Leopold manuals can be three types of the presentation. The first one is gonna be the occipital, which is the most common found in any um, newborn, in any mother. The second one is gonna be the bridge, B-R-E-E-C-H. Then they also have three types of the bridge. The first one is gonna be complete bridge, that uh, the fetus is gonna get the two knees up and just the buttock to be the presentation. And the second one is gonna be the incomplete bridge. This one, not both of the knees would go up. It would be one leg lift down, or the flank bridge is gonna be both of the knees go up, but the feet would be up too. And the last one is gonna be the shoulder presentation. So now we're gonna see what if that is already the day that you have to perform the Leopold's manuals, what you would do? Okay, usually, most of the time, always, whatever do you want to use with this step. You have to instruct your patient and you have to explain the procedure to the patient. What you're gonna do, what would help, the benefit and everything. So you will get the best cooperation from the patient. Now, the second one that we have to do, that we also have to instruct the mother to why, which will empty her bladder and that would help the, the outline of the fetus to present better. Then we're gonna position her into the dorsal recumbent and we're gonna have a small pillow under the head so she would get more comfortable. And one more thing, being a nice nurse, you better help her. She already a very big thing about 24 weeks. How big of the tummy that she's gonna have? Okay, so we, we help her, we already explained her, we already told her to um, empty her bladder. What would be the next? The next thing is the patient privacy. You also have to wrap, um, drape, I think that's a better word. You also have to drape her in, in the section that you would not use, cover her, everything, so she would have her privacy. And then the next thing, don't use your cold hands. Wrap your hands a little bit before you start to perform it because the cold hands also can stimulate uterine contraction. And what would happen if the uterine contraction happens during your little pole manual? You're gonna get nothing. You're gonna have to wait for the, the, the contraction is gone and you can perform it again. So one more trick, wrap your hands together so it would get warm. Then you will stand facing the patient. I will try to show you. I hope it, it shows, okay. Let's say if this is a patient, you're gonna be this way. The first one that you do, that you're gonna go to the top of the uterus. This way, it would tell you what the fetal part is at the uterine fundus. The second one that you're gonna put your two hands between the fetus and this way you're gonna know which side is the spine, which side is the extremity. The extremities would be the hands, the legs and everything and 
If it's not the occipital presentation, you're gonna know it too. The third one, we're gonna see if the uh, the fetus already descend. We would do this way, almost to the pubic area. And this way, if this is the occipital presentation, you're gonna feel that is the head of the baby inside the mother. The fourth one, you're gonna move because you're gonna do um, the last one that would access the cephalic and the bridge. This way you will see if it would be um, the occipital at the end of the pubic or it's going to be the bridge. So this way you will know what would be the presentation of the fetus inside the mom and if it is the bridge presentation there are a very difficult I would say that to um, transfer the baby from the bridge presentation to be the occipital presentation which would be a lot safer for both of the mother and the baby okay today now we know what are the steps of the leopold's maneuver the definition of the leopold maneuvers maybe next time we're going to talk more about um, the bird canal or the step of deliver the baby so now this time i'm gonna go to get some more of the information on my group that you can see on the link below if you want to talk to me more or you want to help me to study bye